Hello everyone, I'm Man. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are unboxing and setting up the Metric Time. This is a product that I'm sure you've seen in so many other YouTubers' videos and setups and stuff in the background, probably uh, as like a YouTube subscriber counter. That's the main reason I kind of bought one as well. Uh, I've seen so many YouTubers use this thing and I've kind of wanted one for I think well over a year now because I mean these have been around for quite a while now I think they started off like on Kickstarter or something correct me if I'm wrong but this is a very cool little product that I have wanted for a very long time and finally man I picked one up on Amazon it was on sale on like a lightning deal or something on Amazon UK and I'm like all right I'm gonna snag one and here we are today uh, I paid like I think 120 something pound for this guy usually they're like 150 pound the link in the description of course where you can buy one yourself if you do want to pick one up because it's like an LED alarm clock, I guess. I don't know too much about this product other than the fact that it's like, I guess a smart alarm clock. You can do a bunch of smart stuff, you know, smart home related things. It has an app for iOS and Android speakers. It can give notifications from your phone and stuff and display them on like these LEDs on the front here. It can give you the weather and of course show you your social media stats like your Twitter following, your Instagram following, your YouTube subscriber account, all that good stuff can be displayed on the front of this LED alarm clock type thing. It's pretty pricey uh, given the fact that it is just like a smart alarm clock with LEDs on the front, but it is kind of like a one of a kind product with quite a lot of features kind of like packed into this guy. So yeah, I think we should probably get this guy in box, set it up and see if we can get the YouTube subscriber count of my channel to be displayed on this thing because that's the end goal here today. And you may be like, where exactly are you gonna be keeping this guy in your setup? Probably in the background there beneath like one of the monitors. Uh, by the way, uh, this secondary monitor here is only temporary. It won't be staying here forever. And we may be getting a new monitor sometime in the very near future. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be a crazy panel and all. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get this guy in box, man, because I'm getting excited. There's like a seal somewhere on this thing. I know there is, okay. We have a bit of plastic to cut here. Yeet, a bit more on the other side. I'm getting constant notifications on my phone. By the way, for everyone asking me when my phone will be fixed, uh, I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be getting a different iPhone entirely. So you won't have to look at this uh, horrible mess anymore because this is really, really bad at the moment. Like there's just green lines everywhere and the back of the phone is covered in electrical tape because the entire back of this um, phone is shattered glass. So I just covered it in tape so it doesn't cut me anymore. But yeah, uh, that's my current phone situation. Getting a new phone soon though, so not gonna be a problem for long. Anyway, the metric time. Oh. Now I've never seen one in person or anything. Um, seems like a very nice little product so far. Uh, quite well presented, very minimalistic packaging, just kind of, you know, gives you what you need really. We have an EU adapter for power, the UK adapter for power, and wow, they even give you the US one as well. Oh my God, they give you everything, man. Cool. Um, oh wait, is the US one on by default? I think it might be. So the US one is on by default. So I'm gonna pop the UK one on instead. By the looks of things, this is powered by USB. As you know, it's just a little USB <laughs> power adapter here for this product, cool. Anything else uh, that they give me here? Nope, that's literally it for this section of the packaging. We can close this up. Won't be needing that no more. We have the clock itself in the middle there and possibly a cable. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Okay, we have a booklet, quick start guide, a micro USB cable. Shame it's not type C, but micro USB will do, I suppose. So as for packaging, that's literally all the contents inside. Quick start guide. All right, what will they tell me about this thing? Turn on device, connect Lumetri Time power source or download smartphone app, register configure the device. So very straightforward. Let's slide this thing out. Ooh. Well, to be honest, this thing actually does feel quite premium, like quite well built, uh, not too lightweight, not too heavy or anything. Feels very premium, to be honest. Like, I like the product so far. Very, very good start. Okay, uh, what we should probably do is plug this guy in. Micro USB connection. I do have uh, some USB ports beneath this desk and the cable that they give us is actually quite long. So we can pop this guy inside. There we go, micro USB cable is plugged in. You can drop that down below there. I believe I plugged it in. Oh, I did. Cool, La Metric. I don't even know that's how you pronounce it. La Metric? Is it like French? Okay, so there's just a bunch of like dancing LEDs right now. There's some kind of like LED indicator there or something on top. Perhaps that's like a light sensor because this thing does have a light sensor. So perhaps that's what that is. 
there's a clock icon and this whole thing going on. There's three buttons on top. I have no idea what's happening, so I should probably go on the app. So as I mentioned earlier, this thing does have an app, Lemetric Time, available on the iOS and Android app stores. Uh, it's downloaded, we can open it up, very nice, send us notifications, sure, why not? It is asking us to sign up straight away, which I'm gonna have to do. Okay, email verified, accounts hopefully set up now. Please type the pin that's displayed on your Lemetric Time. Okay, oh, I have typed in the pin. We'd like to join Wi-Fi network. So, unable to join Wi-Fi network. Did I type the pin in wrong? Can I just manually join this thing then? <laughs> okay, well that worked. So apparently you just have to like manually join it perhaps because the pin displayed on there wasn't doing anything for me. I think that was meant to connect me to the Wi-Fi network, but it didn't do anything. Uh, it's now asking me to choose a Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go with Netgear Orbi and we have to type in our Wi-Fi password for the router. So we are currently connecting this little device here to our Wi-Fi network as indicated by the Wi-Fi signal there um displayed on the actual clock face that's cool and i believe we are good to go is it displaying the time now what are you doing okay so there's like a green tick and it said it is 5 p.m everything's working fine so far on the app it's currently telling me uh, that it's trying to connect to this device again which is a bit weird um they are on the same wi-fi network iphone cannot connect well and now it's fine. Um, we have a bunch of different things to choose from here in the app. So we can have, I'm um, guessing, a clock icon. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, we can display the clock in like different uh, ways. I see. So different like clock faces. Uh, we can do weather. Does that change straight away? Well, there's like a cloud. Aha, uh -huh, page a day calendar. That's cool. Uh, we can have nothing on there. So just the time. Could have something custom, like, what is that, like a green tick? <laughs> custom clock face, is there like community made ones? Oh my God, you can get Pac-Man. <gasps> you can get one that's RGB. Let's see if this appears in real time. Oh my Lord. Well, uh, I can confirm this product does indeed have RGB. Wow, uh, I didn't think this was actually possible, but hey, here we are. Oh, uh, just an LED rainbow happening right here. Cool. <laughs> Pastel rainbow. Any other cool icons that we can kind of put on here? There's beer. There's a dollar sign. Oh, you can have one for Halloween. There's a Santa hat, Christmas tree, Gmail icon, Google Chrome icon. Use clock face. Hey, we've got a little YouTube logo. Cool. It can display the time in like a 24 hour clock or like a 12 hour clock. Days of the week can also be displayed apparently. Um, week starts on Monday, can be enabled, show seconds, wow. So there's a lot of options here. You can also adjust the date format depending on you know which country you're in or what you're used to. Um, we are also, wait what? Hourly chime plus hour beep. So I guess every hour it will like make a beep noise or something. You can go ahead and enable that if you want as this does have I think two two watt speakers on there. And this clock is also compatible with Spotify. So we can probably go ahead and link our Spotify account. Yeah, stream music. Uh, we can link Spotify or Apple Music, I assume, to this device. Now, will it automatically appear as like a device I can stream music onto on Spotify? Doesn't seem to be the case. Open Spotify in your app, select devices available. So, oh, there we go. Mylometric time. <laughs> We are now testing the speakers on this thing. Are they any good? Um, cool. So we can go ahead and display the current song that's playing on here. Speakers are actually not too bad, for, really. Uh, I don't know if this is really made to be like a speaker system, but they're decently loud. The quality is more than acceptable. Over on the top of this device, there's you know three buttons here. We can kind of choose uh, what's displayed on screen. Uh, we can display the weather in Fahrenheit. I don't know what 50 Fahrenheit even is. I only know Celsius. Oh, it's displaying like the weather, like eight mile per hour winds, 100% something. We have the time here with days of the week. So we are currently on Sunday because we've not enabled it to start from Monday, which is a mistake. I have to change that. So I do want my weeks to start from Monday instead of Sunday. We got a little custom YouTube logo on there because why not? And then we're back to weather and Spotify. Pretty cool so far, man. Uh, very, very easy to use. 
So we got Spotify connected on there, which is great. Anything else that we can do on here, we can have notifications. Oh, so from our phone, I guess notifications would just be like automatically displayed on here as well to kind of show you, which is cool. You can pair this up with Amazon Echo. If I'm getting like an Amazon delivery or something, will that appear on this device? Like, hey, by the way, your Amazon delivery is like one stop away. Because if that's the feature, like, that's pretty cool, right? Oh, so I think what you can do is you enable Amazon Echo to work through this device. So you can use this as a smart speaker, as I assume this probably has a microphone on here as well. That's cool. Oh, it supports if this then that, Slack, as well as Google Assistant. We can go ahead and download some apps from, I guess, their own custom app store, apps we love, newest apps. So let's go on to apps we love and see what we can find on here. So there's a Facebook like counter, there's a subscriber counter, Twitch counter, hashtag team trees, bunch of stuff here. Stop smoking, Formula One, Bitcoin, World Air Quality Index. Right, let's go ahead and try add our subscriber counter to this. I pressed add. Will anything happen? I'm not sure. Added, okay, that was quick. I'm gonna press done on the app store here. We've added a new app for this device. Is it already like telling me to do stuff? I don't know, man, but we are now on the subscriber counter thingy. It's telling me to type a channel name in. Okay, we'll do tech block. Will it find my channel straight away? Ooh, so it gives me a list of channels named tech block. Of course, we are this one. We've selected tech block, right? Oh, cool. It is actually showing my subscriber count. Okay, so we're currently displaying the subscriber count like this, where it's like abbreviated, so it's 86.9K at the moment, but we can disable that so it shows us the subscriber count like this. 86,900 apparently is our exact subscriber count. At this time, we can also go ahead and display the channel title. I've enabled that, but Okay, so it says, so it says tech block there for like a second. I'm gonna probably disable that and just have it like this. You can also have it notify you. I'm guessing when someone subscribes, because there is a, a notifications like toggle here. So I'm assuming whenever someone actually does subscribe to the channel, this will make like a little chime <laughs> or like a little beep. There's the radio timer stopwatch. That's cool. We can have like a pizza timer, a pasta timer, you know, whilst you're making your food. Keep an eye on the stopwatch. I just started the stopwatch on here. I pressed some buttons. I got to the stopwatch app and I'm like, yeah, let's go. And I actually started it. We can pause it. Can we reset the stopwatch? Cool. Just press and hold and it resets. There's like a little hourglass LED thingy here as well. Showing you that, hey, it is an actual stopwatch. But yeah, pretty cool little product so far. Let's go back onto the subscriber account as that is what I wanna keep it on. I wonder if it's gonna kind of try to cycle through all these different apps all the time, or whether or not it's gonna actually stay on what app I choose. I don't know if that's like a setting that you have to enable or anything, but so far, man, pretty cool little device here. Very glad I picked one up and I keep accidentally pressing buttons here and switching through a bunch of different apps. But yeah, if you wanna go pick one of these things up, you can do, link in the description down below to where you can buy one on Amazon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you in another video soon. You can expect this guy to be added somewhere to my setup and expect to kind of see it uh, over in the background in a lot of the videos from now on. As I have one on this product for a very long time and finally I managed to get my hands on one. It's like a dream come true. But yeah, if you wanna see more videos of this guy, let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in another video soon.